In this episode of the Home Studio Show, I'm looking at Ableton Live Light Free. I'm also looking at the Baby Audio Baby Comeback plugin that's now free for everyone, and I've got even more free plugins coming up. I'm Zane, welcome to the Home Studio Show, and this week's episode is going to be fairly quick, I think, as there isn't a whole lot of audio tech news to talk about, but I do have several free plugins to check out, so be sure to stick around for all of those. Now, first up this week in audio tech news, is Ableton Live Lite is now free for everyone with a Splice account, which is also free. Normally, Ableton Live Lite is free, but you usually have to get it with a piece of hardware, and it comes with a lot of different audio interfaces and MIDI keyboards, plus some other things. But with Splice now offering it for free to everyone, you don't need any hardware to get it. You just head over to Splice, sign up for a free account if you don't have one already, then click on the Plugins tab, and you'll see DAW under the Category header over here. Click that, then click on Ableton Live Lite right here, and you'll get your serial number for it, plus the link to download it. Now, this offer is only available until December 31st, 2020, so head over there and grab this now if you've been curious about Ableton Live Workflow. This free version gets you into the software with all the functionality unlocked, you just have that eight track limit, but you can work within that limit. And you can check out my getting started with Ableton Live Lite tutorial if you're interested in that. I've linked to it down in the description. Next up in audio tech news is the release of Baby Audio's Baby Comeback plugin is now free for everyone. This used to be free just for readers of Computer Music Magazine, but they've now released it free for everyone. And I did a full review with audio tests on this plugin, so if you haven't checked that out, I'll link to it down in the description. And if you did check it out, you'll know that I love this plugin on vocals. And it can sound great on other sources too, like synths and guitars, but Baby Comeback is a simple delay plugin with your typical controls but it also adds a flavor section with four flavors that adjust the character of the plugin. There's wide, analog, saucy, and cheap. Wide is a more clean, modern sound that also expands the stereo image. Analog is a mode that was inspired by some vintage tape delay and echo effect units. Saucy is a more dense delay. And cheap is a throwback to some of the cheaper 80s rack units. So it's like having four delay plugins in one, as each of these flavors makes the plugin sound very different. Another cool feature on Baby Comeback is the ducker knob. As the name suggests, this ducks the delayed signal while your input is playing. So if you're using it on vocals, while your voice is singing, it will be on top of the delayed effect, so you'll easily cut through without the worry of muddying up your voice. But once your voice stops, you'll really hear that delay effect come through. And of course, you can adjust how much you'd like to duck the delay effect by using the ducker knob. And like I said, be sure to check out my full review if you haven't already, as this is a really great sounding plugin. Now let's check out some current plugin deals. Over on Plugin Boutique, you'll get the WA Production Pumper 3 and Imprint plugin bundle for free with any purchase. Plus, Plugin Boutique always has sales on many different plugins, so be sure to click the link in the description to check that out. Also, Waves Audio have the Power Your Creativity sale where you can save 40% on some of the best plugins available. Check the link in the description and use code CREATE40 to get your savings. Plus, when you spend over $50, you'll get to select a free plugin of your choice. And if you spend over $90, you get to select two plugins of your choice. This is a great way to get into Waves plugins. Now, before we get into this week's plugins worth checking out, I just want to ask if you're enjoying this week's episode of the Home Studio Show so far, can you please give it a thumbs up? It really helps my channel out and I appreciate it so much. Now, this week's plugins worth checking out. First up is Tape by Softube. This is a saturation plugin that emulates the sound of recording to tape. Not cassette tape, but reel-to-reel -reel tape, so you can get that vintage warmth similar to classic analog recordings. Use tape on your mix bus to really glue your mix together, or use it as an effect on individual instrument tracks and buses. It does include some great presets to get you started, and Softube's tape is available on both Mac and Windows. 
So let's give it a listen right now. The next plugin worth checking out is Perfect Plate XL from Denise Audio. This is a plate reverb unit with controls that allow you to adjust how much or how little reverb you need. Plus, you can create some unique sounds by combining plate reverb styles. Plus, it has a ducker control so you can duck the reverb down while your source is present. But when the source stops, you'll get that nice reverb tail. So let's check it out right now to hear how it sounds. Now it's time for the free plugins of the week. And first up this week is the Dirty Filter from Bedroom Producer Blog. BPB Dirty Filter is a dual filter effect with tube distortion. It features a high pass and low pass filter, a mix knob, volume control, and of course the drive knob, which controls the resonance for both filters and the amount of tube distortion that's applied to the signal. It's available on Mac and PC in both 32-bit and 64-bit options. Let's give it a listen right now. The next free VST plugin worth checking out is Click from Reflect Audio. Click is a fun little plugin that gives you a click sound. The unique click has been professionally sampled from a plastic castanet. And another cool thing is that it uses round robins, so it's not always the same click twice or the same clicks in a row, which gives it a more human sound. Is it for every project? Probably not, but I'm sure you can find a use for it. You can get click on Windows and Mac. Now let's give it a quick listen. And if you want to check out even more free VST plugins, click up here or click down here to see what YouTube recommends. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for checking out the home studio show for Simple Green Tech. I'm Zane, keep creating, and we'll talk soon.